friends welcome today we are going to learn about the constructors in java so first let me tell you what is a constructor constructor is just like a method only difference is that it has the name same as the class name and it doesn't has a return type okay, so this is the definition of a constructor now let us go and check an example okay so i have a class here let me close others so i have a class car here so this is the public class so here as you can see i am highlighting this is our constructor so as you can see it has the same name car as the class name and it doesn't has any return type return type like void integer string or it doesn't has anything so this is a constructor so now there are uh, basically two kinds of constructors one is the default constructor and one is the parameterized constructor so whatever we are looking here is a default constructor default constructor means it doesn't accept any arguments so here inside brackets we are not passing any parameters so it says the car and the parenthesis inside that we can give our code whatever you want to execute okay so the question comes it when is it called so the methods we need to call explicitly but constructor it gets called whenever an object is created so this is our main method inside here we are creating an object of the class car car c equal to new car so as soon as this uh, statement is executed it goes to default constructor okay so now let us try to run this program run as java application okay okay so we are just creating an object when the object is getting created it's calling the default constructor and the print statement is it is printing so we are getting a message car is created okay so now to understand it better and to understand the other type of constructor let's to let's take another example okay so i have another class bike one so the as uh, the name is self explanatory the parameterized constructor is the constructor which will accept the parameters so we can so it will have arguments here we can pass these parameters okay so now in this uh, example while creating object at the same time we can initialize our objects okay so there are two instance variables this is the name this is the company so we are assuming by as a class so that it is nothing but an object so this is the property of a bike so it will be having a, any name and the company okay and uh, we have another method so it just prints the details of the object like name and the company so inside the main method now you can see the difference in which we are creating the object earlier while the calling the default constructor we are not passing any arguments now this time we are passing two arguments since we have defined two parameters here so similarly to match it we need to pass the same number of arguments with the same type string here so here also string so bike v1 equal to new bike one and the name is fc and the company name is yama similarly object 2 is having the name as pulsar and company as bajaj now if we show it so b1 will have the value of fc and yamaha b2 will have the value of pulsar and bajaj if we print them it will print them one by one so this is the benefit of the constructor what we are doing we are initializing the instance variables name and company 
so now let us try to run it run as java application ok so you can see from b1 it is printing fc and yamaha whereas from b2 it is printing pulsar and bajaj ok so that's it for today friends so this is just the introduction of constructor and we have learned the default constructor as well as parameterized constructor so in our next tutorial we will learn about constructor overloading thanks for watching please like and subscribe and also put the comments if you have any doubt just put it in comments thanks